Lucy, nature detective, and I'm here with my favorite scavenger, Chester the opossum, and we are ready for today's scavenger haunt. Yep, that's the riddle right there, Chester. Let's get it out and see what we'll be searching for today. My fingers are one of Americans' favorite things to eat. If you're really hungry, my whole hand can be your treat. Even my heart can be a delicious meal. But compost my skin. You don't want to slip on my peel. I'm a tall plant, not a tree. And my long fruit is actually a berry. Hmm, what do you think it is that we're looking for today, Chester? Have you nature detectives at home figured it out? Well, I think it's time to get out your binoculars and let's start searching. I found a plant with a berry, but this is the coffee plant. So we're going to have to keep searching. Hey, Chester, maybe we should go and ask the red-shouldered hawks and see how their babies are doing. Come on, everyone, let's go. Hey, red-shouldered hawks. Look how big your babies have gotten. We can't even tell who the adults and the babies are anymore. They're all so close in size. Well, we are on our scavenger hunt and we are looking for a finger that people like to eat. Can you think of what we might be looking for? Oh, really? They say bananas. Let's go find some bananas. We found the banana plant. We have lots of banana plants at Flamingo Gardens because banana plants love the tropical weather that we have in South Florida. Humans have grown bananas for thousands of years. It's believed that they originated in Southeast Asia, but today they can be found all over the world and are one of the most popular foods. They're all different types of bananas. Cavendish or dessert bananas are one of the most popular types of bananas and often eaten raw or used to make dishes like banana bread, pancakes, muffins. Plantains are starchier and usually cooked before eating. In some cultures, the banana plant flour or the heart is used to make stews and dips. Also, sometimes food is wrapped and cooked in the banana leaves. The banana plant is an herb plant and looks like a tree because of their height, but they don't have a true trunk with bark. Instead, what looks like the trunk is actually compressed leaves. And the fruit is actually classified as a berry. It takes approximately nine months for the banana plant to grow up and produce a bunch of bananas. A single banana is called a finger. A bunch of bananas is called a clutch or a hand. The banana plant produces only one bunch of bananas in its lifetime. A new plant will sprout up from the rhizomes or the underground root system of the old plant after it dies. So even though the plant only lives for around a year, the roots can live for many years. Now a monkey peels a banana upside down compared to the way that we peel them pinching it first at the bottom so that it can slice up the peel and get to the fruit. A few varieties of wild banana include bubblegum pink bananas with fuzzy skins, green and white striped bananas with pulp the color of orange sherbet, and bananas that taste like strawberries when cooked. They are pretty cool plants, aren't they? I bet you guys love bananas. I know Chester does. Now, let's go and do some crafts with cats. Come on, everyone. Wasn't it fun learning about the banana plant today and also getting to see our red-shouldered hawk babies and how big they've gotten? Now it's time for Crafts with Cats, starring Grey Ghost and Oreo. And today's craft is going to be a banana plant for our diorama. So what you'll need is a piece of green paper, or you can color paper green, 
and you're gonna roll it up just like we did for our palm tree. You're gonna roll the paper all the way up. And remember, the banana tree, the banana plant, does not have the trunk, so we are going to just have the compressed leaves on the bottom, and then up top, we're going to cut big, long strips for the other leaves. Now, you can also cut little notches in those to make the leaves a little bit more realistic. Then you're going to want to take some yellow paper or draw some bananas. And don't forget that beautiful flower. After you have your banana plant all done, it's going to go right in our diorama. Oops, right next to Oreo. Excuse me, Oreo, we need to put our banana plant right near our strangler fig tree. And remember, if cats get into your diorama at home, just gently move their feet or tail so that you can put your new addition inside. I hope you had fun today. Please remember to visit us at flamingogardens.org. Just click on the education tab for the scavenger hunt. And you can also visit us at YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook at Flamingo Gardens. Have a great day and we'll see you soon. Bye!